Kamala Kamala backing Israel and blaming Hamas is a major priority. Looking at the authenticity and deeper motives behind her words. So I just had a frank and constructive meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu. I told him that I will always ensure that Israel is able to defend itself, including from Iran and Iran-backed militias such as Hamas and Hezbollah. From when I was a young girl collecting funds to plant trees for Israel, to my time in the United States Senate and now at the White House, I have had an unwavering commitment to the existence of the state of Israel, to its security, and to the people of Israel. I've said it many times, but it bears repeating. Israel has a right to defend itself and how it does so matters. Hamas is a brutal terrorist organization. On October 7, Hamas triggered this war when it massacred 1,200 innocent people, including 44 Americans. Hamas has committed horrific acts of sexual violence and took 250 hostages. There are American citizens who remain captive in Gaza. Sagi Deko Hen, Hirsch Goldberg Polin, Idan Alexander, Keith Siegel, Omer Nutra, and the remains of American citizens Judy Weinstein, God Haggai, and Itai Hen are still being held in Gaza. I have met with the families of these American hostages multiple times now, and I've told them each time they are not alone, and I stand with them. And President Biden and I are working every day to bring them home. Kamala Kamala's statement reaffirms her strong commitment to Israel's right to self-defense, frequently emphasized by the public. She condemns Hamas as a brutal terrorist organization and highlights the significance of acknowledging the Octi 7 massacre. Her stance on terrorism is highly valued, and she offers unwavering support for key allies. The themes of authenticity, responsibility, and the deeper meaning behind Harris's remarks are central. Kamala Kamala's words prompt questions about whether her position truly reflects her values or if it is a strategic move to maintain political alliances. Additionally, her remarks address the human dimension, focusing on the personal impact of violence and the moral responsibility to confront it. Kamala Kamala's statement aims to construct a narrative about power, support, and moral clarity. It seeks to build trust and faith by emphasizing a lifelong commitment to Israel and a direct condemnation of Hamas. References to American hostages and victims personalize the issue, creating empathy and urgency. This approach is designed to evoke emotional sympathy in the audience and strengthen the perception of a compassionate and decisive leader. Public reaction to Kamala's remarks is likely to be mixed. Supporters of Israel and those with strong anti-terrorism positions will welcome her clear condemnation of Hamas and support for Israel's right to self-defense. However, those who sympathize with the Palestinian cause or who are critical of Israel's actions may view her remarks as one-sided and insufficiently comprehensive of the broader conflict context. 